a while back, I did a tip on a nifty little Safari add-on called Acid Search. Acid Search allows you to add different search capabilities to your Google Safari. So instead of just having to search through Google and then click on the Google Images or whatever, you can simply type in your search term, click on the drop down menu and choose what you want to search. You could also add in a keyboard shortcut so that, for example, command option Y would do a search for YouTube. Now what we'll do is, since it doesn't work with Safari 3 and Apple has yet to add it on, uh, we're going to have to use a different third party add-on and this time it's called Inquisitor. And Inquisitor is very nice, it has a couple extra features which I'll be going over and I'm going to show you how to install it, how to add search engines and I'm going to show you some of the other features. Of course, to use Inquisitor, we have to have it first, and to do that, all we have to do is open up Safari, and all we have to do is do a Google search for Inquisitor, which is I-N-Q-U-I-S-I-T-O-R, and right now you've seen some of the features. We'll click on that result, which will load this web page, and this is the Inquisitor web page, and from here we just hit the download link, open up this window, open up the downloads window and it will launch the Inquisitor installer. The installer will quit Safari, so we'll say continue, and we'll say install. It'll ask for a password, and from here it'll quit Safari, install the Inquisitor, and that's it. Close that, we'll open the Safari back up, and if you want to, you can trash the Inquisitor installer. And now that we're here, We'll want to go to the preferences, hit command comma, and then go to the search preferences right here, which is a new pane on your Safari preferences. Now that we have Inquisitor installed and preferences open, I'm going to go over each of the features. To start off, we have autocomplete. Autocomplete will obviously automatically complete whatever you're typing. I haven't had much luck with phrases, however, it can also complete words or it'll just not complete anything. As an example, if you start typing LEO, it will it'll fill it in with uh, Leho Lewis. But if you type in PARD, it'll fill in Leopard. So then you just hit enter from there and it does the Google search for Leopard. So now that we've gone over autocomplete, I think I'll be saying that to current word only. We're going to go on to the web results and the suggestions. You might have seen this already, but if we type in a search for a leopard, it shows those web results right here from either Amazon, Apple, or Wikipedia, or it shows the suggestions, leopard, leopard's graphics updates, or leopard gecko. So if we just hit, you know, Apple, Mac OS X leopard, it jumps us right on over to the Apple website without having to go to Google first. However, you're still accessing the internet. So from here, we can do suggestions first, website results second, or the other way around. I'll go with that one though. Uh, we can display how many we want. I like as many website results as possible, so we'll go with six. And keyword suggestions, I'll just keep at three. So that's the that's one of the bigger features of Inquisitor is that it shows your results before you actually have to open up Google. And that, that's pretty much what it looks like. Now I'll go over some of the other search options. You can change your source from uh, either Google to Yahoo or you have international Google and international Yahoo. You can also choose whether or not to include affiliate links. That's normally checked. You can uncheck that and then say ignore. We can also choose whether or not we want to enhance the results with search history. And search history is I type in leopard. And it shows me that I did this search, you know, two minutes ago. And that I clicked on Apple once. So you can either turn, choose to turn it on or off. And then note that when you say clear history, uh, it just says, okay, we did it. You don't have any options. So be sure whether or not you want to do that or not. Next, I'll show you how to display links for additional search engines. For me, one of the biggest features of Inquisitor is the custom searches that you can apply. To do this, just make sure that this box right here is checked, and we'll go to Edit Sites, 
And here are the three sites that they have. You have Google, Amazon, and Flickr. I'm not going to be using Flickr, so I just hit the minus sign. And then hit the plus sign, and if I want to add something, like an image search, I'll go to Images, Google Images. If I want to add a shortcut, I just double click here, and hit Command Option I. And there we go, I've installed that shortcut. And if we do, now we'll do an image search, I'll birds, I can hit Command Option I, and it does a Google image search for birds. However, this does not have all the websites you can want. For example, uh, it does have Wikipedia, which I like, and it doesn't have YouTube video. It has Google and it has Yahoo, but doesn't have YouTube. So what we'll have to do is have to manually add it. This isn't that hard. All I have to do is go to YouTube.com and we're gonna do one word video search. We'll just do Mac Tipper. And from here, we'll go to view here and we're looking for a one word search that we did. We search for Mac Tipper, so we'll just select the Mac Tipper right here and we'll replace this with percent sign at sign. Copy that and then go back here and say new custom. We'll call this YouTube. We'll do it for that URL. And we'll go here and we'll do command option Y. And now we can say done. Close this and we'll do a video search command option Y and it opens it up inside YouTube. We could do something like uh, pearls for swine, command option Y, and does, and does YouTube search for pearls for swine. So it works pretty well for YouTube and everything else. Just make sure that you have to, you know, if you want to, you have to replace your search term right here, your search term right here, select that, replace that with percent at sign, and you're good to go. However, this doesn't work in all search places. Some places will use a search through PHP, and using that, unfortunately, you cannot do a search like that. So you'll just have to go to the website and do a search. Well, that's it for this tip on Inquisitor. I find it to be a very good replacement for Active Search, and I hope you install it and enjoy it. Thanks for watching, and thanks for subscribing.